If you want to advertise your business, the best way as a beginner is to reach out to the bloggers in your country. For example, I live in Pakistan, so the best advice I could give to anybody who wants to advertise their business, uh, regardless of their internet presence, if they're a beginner or they've got uh, uh, you know, a website or a social media presence, look around and search for the best blogs around you. Hey, welcome back to another video on my channel. The topic here is how to advertise your business. And this is a question people often ask me on my social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And uh, this video is going to precisely cover everything about how you can effectively advertise your business, reach out to hundreds and thousands of people uh, without paying much money. And the essence here is you're still a beginner. You do not have a solid internet presence, leave alone social media presence for that matter, but still there's a way you can advertise your business. Hey, my name is Isham Sarwar. I'm a freelancer, a digital marketer, a social media strategist, someone who has been working as a digital marketer and freelancer for the last two decades and uh, have helped many small businesses in US and Canada. And now I'm offering these services in Pakistan. I'm a Pakistani, I live in Islamabad. And uh, this channel is in English to educate people about freelancing, digital marketing, blogging, social media marketing, digital products. Uh, and I'm also going to teach copywriting, communication skills, and the list goes on and on. If you want to advertise your business, the best way as a beginner is to reach out to the bloggers in your country. For example, I live in Pakistan. So the best advice I could give to anybody who wants to advertise their business, uh, regardless of their internet presence, if they're a beginner or they've got a, uh, you know, a website or a social media presence, look around and search for the best blogs around you. When you identify the top uh, blogs in your country, uh, regardless of the niche they are in, they could be into uh, money uh, making ideas, they could be a news blog, they could be a tech blog, they could be a political blog, does not make any difference. Reach out to them, inquire about their rates, ask them what will they charge if you give them the content and one do follow link. The reason why I'm saying one do follow link is because when uh, they agree on the price and the terms and uh, they agree to cover your content as a blog post on their website, one do follow link would mean that if someone clicks on a particular keyword, they'll be taken to your website. So what does this mean? It means that for you to advertise your business, you got to have a website. That is a prerequisite. And luckily, I'm offering you an amazing deal if you uh, click on the link in the description of this video. For limited time, uh, 48 hours, you're getting 7% discount if you use my coupon Hisham server on the hostinger.com a hosting website and uh, for less than hundred odd dollars for four years you can get amazing fast hosting alongside free SSL certificate that is the amazing uh, security lock you see uh, before a URL on any tab of the browser and most importantly you're also getting a free domain name so go ahead and build your website if you do not know how to build your website go to workchess.com post a project uh, you'll uh, find hundreds and thousands of amazing web developers reaching out to you and uh, giving their price as well as their proposals. But what happens once you get a website? Once you get a website, you get a do follow link from a prominent blog post uh, you, uh, you pay money to. Uh, it's, it's going to be a sponsored blog post. A, you get an instant traffic because they already have a huge number of followers following their blog post every single day. So when they publish your post, it could be a sponsored post, it could be a regular post, really it does not make any difference. As soon as your post is published on their blog, hundreds of thousands of their followers, uh, not only who uh, have subscribed to the website directly, but also the people who are linked with them on their social media accounts, be it Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, at least these are the four social media platforms. I share Bingo's 
uh, every single blog post whenever it is published. So I'm assuming that uh, everybody publishes their blog post on social media accounts. So you're also uh, reaching out to that social media traffic as well. And when they uh, click on a link, they go to the blog post, they read the blog post, they read about your product and service, they click on a link. Um, the link actually uh, takes the user to your website. So if you've got a website and you're uh, selling a product, perhaps a service, or it's a regular blog post uh, where you're voicing your opinion, people go through your blog post and on your website, you've got to have two things. A, make sure that uh, email opt-in subscriber form is prominently placed on your website and homepage or wherever the traffic lands to when someone clicks a link on the sponsor blog post. And the second thing is, make sure that you've got Facebook pixels installed on your website. What does that mean? It means that whenever someone comes on your website, if they've got a Facebook account, automatically Facebook records, registers their Facebook profile ID. And in the future, when you plan to retarget all those uh, window shoppers who landed on your website but did not take any action, you can retarget them again when you advertise on Facebook in the future. This is one amazing way. Something a brick and mortar or a physical world does not offer. For example, I've got a, a shoe store uh, just for a discussion sake and I've got um, a huge influx of potential window shoppers who come in and go out uh, every single day, but there's no way I can keep track of them. Unlike the physical world and the virtual world, Facebook is offering you this amazing service. So whoever visits your website lands on a particular landing page. If you've got Facebook pixel code installed on your website, not only uh, Facebook records their information, but they can also be used for retargeting purposes when you plan to advertise on Facebook in the near future. Amazing, isn't it? So the best way of advertising your business is to have a website, reach out to a prominent blog in your country, decide a price, make sure you write a nice search engine friendly blog post with one do follow link and that do follow link needs to drive traffic back to your website. And then on your website, you've got to have an email opt-in form, install Facebook pixel and that's about it. One of the best way of advertising your business, not just for one time, but in the future as well, because you can retarget everybody who has visited your website in some point of time. If this makes sense, like this video and share this video link to your friends and followers. I look forward to speak to you in the next video. Bye for now.